What's going on guys? Welcome to an NHL 21 full career simulation for Austin Matthews. I love this guy. He's one of my favorite players in the league and he's one of the biggest, brightest stars, most marketable dudes in the entire NHL. So if you enjoy this career sim and you want to see more, leave a like on this video, comment who you want me to do next and subscribe. Without further ado, let's get right into it. All right, so after his first year with the Toronto Maple Leafs in this sim, it's 22nd overall for the Leafs. They absolutely fall off a cliff. So 22nd in the entire league, which means that in their division, they are dead last, worse than the Red Wings and the Senators. The Stanley Cup champions are the Carolina Hurricanes who take out the Nashville Predators in five games. Matthews finishes second on his team in scoring with 84 points, 40 goals, and he finishes as a 91 overall. All right, in year two, the Leafs managed to make it back to the playoffs as they finished third in the Atlantic Division with 95 points. In the first round, they take out the Florida Panthers in seven games, breaking that awful first round streak they've had since 2004, but they lose in the second round in six games to the Tampa Bay Lightning, who then lose to the Capitals, and the Capitals go on to win in the Stanley Cup Final. Ovi gets his second cup. Matthews finishes as the Leafs' leading scorer with 90 points, 38 goals. He's doing really good and he's still a 91 overall. The Leafs once again missed the playoffs in year three by finishing sixth in their division. And in the playoffs, which they missed for the second year out of three since we started this sim, the New York Rangers beat the Calgary Flames in six games to take home the cup. Austin Matthews finishes once again as the leading scorer of the Leafs with 37 goals, 85, keeping steady. All right, in year four, the Leafs once again missed the playoffs with 87 points, finishing sixth in the Atlantic Division. And the Philadelphia Flyers swept the Chicago Blackhawks in the Cup Final 4-0 to win the Stanley Cup. Austin Matthews once again carrying the team on his back along with John Tavares, who got 46 goals, by the way. But Matthews has 28 goals, so his worst season in terms of goals in the NHL, 46 assists and 74 points. He's still a 91 overall, and he is on the verge of hitting free agency. Is he going to want to get out of Toronto because of the losing culture right now, or is he going to want to stick it through and see if he can find a way to win in TO? All right, for year five, Austin Matthews leaves the Toronto Maple Leafs in favor of the Pittsburgh Penguins, baby. Still a 91, and he signs a six-year, $12.2 million contract with Sidney Crosby and the Pittsburgh Penguins. And Matthews is playing on the first line with Crosby on the second line, and his line mates are Rust and Gensel. Let's see what he can do with the pens now in the rest of the simulation. All right, so is Austin Matthews bad luck, bro? I mean, okay, the end of year five, the Pittsburgh Penguins finish seventh in the Metropolitan Division, even with guys like Crosby and Gensel and Matthews, 86 points, and they miss the playoffs. Once again, no playoffs for Matthews. Matthews finished tied for first in scoring with 72 points, but only 26 goals, dude. Is, is he falling off a cliff here? I mean, he's only 27. He should be in the prime of his career here, and he's only scoring 26 goals. We can see quite a regression from his years in Toronto, although that last year was kind of an indicator. He's hitting about the same total as he did in his last year in Toronto. But yeah, only 72 points and 26 goals, a weak season by Matthew standards, and he's still a 91 overall. All right, and it's the Colorado Avalanche winning the Stanley Cup in year five of the simulation. All right, so at the end of year six, the Pittsburgh Penguins managed to sneak into the playoffs with 96 points as a wildcard team in the Eastern Conference, just beating out their state rivals, the Philadelphia Flyers. In those playoffs, they would beat Columbus in seven games in the first round. 
then New Jersey in the second round in six games, but lose to the eventual Stanley Cup champion Ottawa Senators in six games. Wow, dude, that's like a rematch of the 2017 Eastern Conference Finals, but instead of Pittsburgh, it's Ottawa going through and winning the Cup. Matthews would lead the team in scoring with 30 goals, 46 assists, and 76 points in the regular season. Also, shocker, Matthew Kachuk is now a Pittsburgh Penguin, and Sidney Crosby is not. And in 19 playoff games, Matthew scored 9 goals and 11 assists for 20 points, so over a point a game in the playoffs. He is the man now in Pittsburgh. The Jack Adams goes to the Pittsburgh Penguins head coach. Alright, so 10 years into his NHL career, Austin Matthews has played 774 games, 357 goals, 409 apples for 766 points. And for playoffs, he's got 52 games played, 23 goals, 17 assists, and 40 points in 10 years. He's only made the playoffs 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 times out of 10. So 50% of the time he's in the playoffs, 50% he's out. Also worth noting here, at the end of year 6, Ovechkin retires, having beat Gretzky's goal record of 894 with 955 goals, baby. And he retires the way his career started as a Washington Capital. Alright, so in year 7, even though the Pens had a stacked roster, they managed to miss the playoffs with only 89 points. Matthews leads the team in scoring as expected, and he has an up season from what he usually does lately. 83 points, 37 goals, and 46 apples, so a very solid season, over a point a game for Matthews, the first time in a few years. Kachuk down here struggled a little bit, man, only 58 points, 18 goals, and this new guy, Morgan Chang, 44 goals in his rookie season. And he's wearing Matthews' number, man. Matthews' number 35, this guy's number 34. Matthews also climbs to a 92 overall with this great season, but manages to miss the playoffs once again. The Tampa Bay Lightning took out the Winnipeg Jets in four games, a sweep to win the Stanley Cup. Oh, year eight is a painful one for Matthews and the Penguins. You guys will see why in a second. The Penguins missed the playoffs again. 85 points in 82 games, rough season for them. And your Stanley Cup champions are the Toronto Maple Leafs. Oh, Austin, that one's gotta hurt watching that at home from your TV, man. Still, though, Matthews finishes with 43 goals, his highest in a few years. 78 points tied with Matthew Kachuk, who has a bounce-back season with the Penguins. But again, the most important thing, no playoffs. Even though Austin is still a 92 overall and... Uh, and this is out of date a little bit. It's going to update uh, once I sim a few days. There's two years left in his contract. But real rough luck for Austin. Barely gets any looks at the playoffs. And when he does, he gets outed quick. Oh, and interestingly, at the end of year eight, Sidney Crosby of the Florida Panthers retires with... 1,800 points, 708 goals. He goes down as one of the best players to ever play. All right, in year nine, the Penguins finally make it back to the playoffs with 104 points and still only a wild card spot sneaking in right behind the Washington Capitals. But unfortunately, they lose in six games to the President's Trophy winning New Jersey Devils who go on to the Eastern Conference Final and lose to the Lightning who then lose to the Nashville Predators in seven games. Matthews, once again the leading scorer, and explodes this year with 94 points, 49 goals, a career high for Matthews. He's already played 1,020 games and is only a few goals away from 500. And in the playoffs this year, in six games, he has three points, one goal, two assists. Bit of an underwhelming playoffs, but it was for all the pens. But as far as the regular season goes, a great season for Matthews. And because of that, he's now a 93 overall. All right, so in year 10, the Pens finish fourth in their division with 96 points. Again, a very solid season from them, turning it around from the rough seasons they had 
earlier on in Matthews Penguins career. However, same old, same old playoff woes for the Penguins. They lose in the first round in six games to the Washington Capitals. And guess what? What hurts even more is the Leafs made it back to the Stanley Cup final and lost only in game seven to the Blackhawks. That's gotta hurt for Austin, man. He does have a really solid season once again, though. 40 goals, 46 assists, 86 points. That's really solid from him. He's really keeping a good pace now that he's found his running mate, Matthew Kachuk. They've been like running together and putting up really good seasons. And Matthews goes out and signs a three-year, $11.8 million extension at 32 years old. That's going to keep him a penguin until he's 35. Another year, another first round exit for Matthews and the Penguins. In year 11, they get swept by, I mean, the guys who've been spanking them for years now, the New Jersey Devils sweep Matthews and the Penguins in round one again. And it's the LA Kings who go on to win the Stanley Cup in five games. Even though they got swept in round one, at least they can say they finished not in a wildcard spot. With 106 points, they finished top three in their division. Oh, for the first time in a while, Matthews was not the leading scorer on his team. It was this guy, Darcy Huey. Six foot five, eh? 24 years old. He's the future. Matthews is 33 now, but still 43 goals. He's a 93 overall. A very solid season by his standards. Still 88 points. And this year in the playoffs, in four games, two goals, one assist. Kind of underwhelming in the playoffs, Austin Matthews is. Guys, I have some amazing news to report. In year 12, the Pittsburgh Penguins conquered their demons being the New Jersey Devils in seven games. Took them out. They're going to go on a cup run, right? Nope. Six games eliminated in round two by the New York Islanders, who then got taken out by the Caps, who then got taken out by the Sharks, who won the Stanley Cup. Ouch. At least he got past the first round, right? Matthews finishes with a really good career high season at age 34, 104 points, which is really good. But you know what? He was more of a passer this year, 75 apples, but 29 goals. And he's down to a 90 overall. So time is running out on Big Poppy. I wonder what he can do next. Because he is in the final year of his contract with the Pens. Is he going to retire after this year? Is he going to go try to win a cup somewhere else? Or is he going to re-sign? Let's see. We have a winner for Austin Matthews. He wins the Lady Bing Award in 2031-32. The first award we've seen from him since the Calder. Oh my god. I mean, dude, at this point, it's almost comical, man. In seven games, the Penguins get outed in the first round against the Columbus Blue Jackets, who go all the way to the third round, lose to the Wings, who then lose to the Kings, who win the Stanley Cup again. I'm not even going to show you guys the regular season standings. Like, it doesn't matter. All you need to know is that the Penguins lost in round one again. Now, the juicy part. Matthews again had an incredible season, 98 points, 45 goals, the guy's a monster at 35 years old, and you know what, he re-signs with the Pittsburgh Penguins for one more year, he wants to win there, get past the second round so bad, 10.4 million dollars at 35, he's still an 89 overall, he can get it done dude, he's putting up 40 plus goals basically every single year of his career man. I will say this though, the Pittsburgh Penguins won the President's Trophy this past season, so he was on a really good team, but they choked again. Well, at least in year 14, the Penguins don't have to worry about losing in round one because they completely implode and miss the playoffs with only 78 points in 82 games. And they're not even last in their division. 62 points from the Rangers. That is abysmal. But a really disappointing year 14 with Matthews. But he decides not to retire. The Vegas Golden Knights are 
your Stanley Cup champions. Oh, big blow to the Penguins. Huey and Matthews, maybe their two biggest offensive threats, both decide to test out the free agent market. Holy crap, Huey wants 16, almost 17 million bucks, and Matthews wants 15 million dollars at an 86 overall. His role would be second line, and he's 36 years old. Wow, Matthews must be really pissed at the Pittsburgh Penguins because he goes to the other Pennsylvania team, the biggest rival of the Penguins. He signs as a Philadelphia Flyer on their first line and he signs for two years, $13 million. So clearly he's still got some game. Let's see what Matthews can do with the Philadelphia Flyers in year 15. All right, so his first season in Philly, Matthews and the Flyers managed just to squeeze into the playoffs as the last wildcard team with 92 points in the regular season. In the playoffs, they managed to take out the Caps in six games, uh, a team that's been a demon for the Penguins in this sim, and then they take out the Devils in four games, sweep another demon for the Penguins in this sim. So Matthews thinking, dude, we're golden. Nope, in seven games in the Eastern Conference Finals, the Florida Panthers take them out and then lose to the Kings who win another Stanley Cup. That is a heartbreak for Matthews. One win away from the Stanley Cup Final. Absolutely devastating for the guy. He does finish, however, with another very good regular season. 85 points, 35 goals, very solid at 37 years of age. And... He is now an 85 overall, so it's dropping quick for the guy. Worth noting also that he had a monster, beastly playoffs with 24 points in 17 games played in this year's playoffs. Alright, so in year 16, the Flyers finished third in their division with 96 points, but they were taken out in round one seven games by the eventual Stanley Cup champion, New Jersey Devils. In awards news, Austin Matthews wins another Lady Bing, this time with the Flyers instead of the Penguins. Matthews also decides that he wants to test the free agent market one last time at 38 years old. Looking for two years, $12.3 million. He's still searching for big money, which is honestly pretty valid considering he just came off a 93-point, 42-goal season and 51 assists. He is an 83 overall though, so we'll see who takes him and how much. All right, going into year 17, 39-year-old Austin Matthews decides to re-up with the Flyers and decides to take Jack Eichel with him. So the one-two punch is Matthews and Eichel. And then you got Wallstrom as your third line center. Very strong. This has got to be the last dance for Matthews. Even though he's an 83 overall, he signs a two-year deal for $10.7 million. Dude, this guy's got all the money in the world. Let's see what he can do with the Flyers. Ladies and gentlemen, after 21 NHL seasons, Austin Matthews retires as a Philadelphia Flyer with 1,676 games played, 805 goals, 973 assists, and 1,778 points. What an incredible career for Matthews. And on top of that, he also finishes with a career high in points and in goals, 50 goals this year and 105 points and now let's see what he was able to do in his final playoff run in his final playoff run in the nhl the flyers beat how poetic the toronto maple leafs in the first round in six games and then they went on to beat the capitals in six games and made it to the eastern conference finals where they lost to the boston bruins so Matthews ends his career without ever having made it to the Stanley Cup final, not even once. And he wins his second straight and third overall Lady Bing Trophy, Austin Matthews. Unfortunately, no other awards for Matthews other than the Calder and three Lady Bing Trophies. 
All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's career simulation of Austin Matthews. Disappointing, but still really interesting. Let me know who you want me to do next in the comments down below. Leave a like on this video and subscribe. Hit that notification bell if it's your first time. If you want to see more NHL content, and I will see you guys next time.